Good morning, YouTube, and happy Friday. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today. Um, first, I just want to shout out and give you guys a great thanks for all the great positive feedback and discussions. It's been great responding back to you guys about questions. Um, there's been a lot of interest on these robotic vacuums. I just, again, want to say thank you for all the great support. It's been real fun. Um, but today, I just want to give you a video in the sense of a Roomba S9 versus the Roborock S5. I do realize that this is the older generation. There's a new Roborock T6, but we're not going to compare how well they clean. We're going to actually see how fast they can get to a target point. But like with any race, there should be obstacles. So let's show you what I have set up. So it's going to be navigating around here. They're going to zip around. They're going to take a left. And of course, there's a barrier, so if they're small enough, they have to come back around, navigate this chair, navigate a oh, perfectly ripe watermelon, mm, that looks so good. They have to go between these chairs, then they have to take a left, around the box, and then they're gonna zip down into the master bedroom, and then they're gonna take a sharp right into the bathroom, and they should end up right there. So what do you think? Is it going to be the Roomba S9 that's going to win? Or is it the Roborock S5? Let me know down in the comments. My personal opinion, I think it's going to be the Roborock S5. It has better navigation. But who knows? Maybe the Roomba S9 has a couple tricks up its sleeve. But we'll see. So let me uh, get back here. And we'll start this race. Okay, so in order to get this going, I'm gonna put the phone down here. It's basically gonna start the robo rock. So we'll start this guy once. So he's ready to go. Okay, here we go. Looks like the Ruby S9 started first. But he's hung up on a seal. Looks like the Roborock just overtook the Roomba S9. So the Roborock is zipping quickly down, but he's going to soon realize that his race is coming to a short. He has an obstacle. The Roomba S9 saw the box and decided to go a different route, but he's clearly hung up. So it looks like the Roborock realized that he can't go that way. Um, they're kind of bashing into each other. Now the Roomba has time to say to you, oh, let me try this way. Looks like the Roborock is trying to squeeze its way through. The Roomba S9 is just trying to figure out what the heck's going on. And the Roborock is zipping through. Let's see if the Roomba S9 can catch up. Come on, Roomba S9, you can do it. Yeah, these chairs are definitely hard for these guys. But the Roborock clearly is navigating without any problems. So he's zipping down there, so it looks like the Roborock is going to win. Here's the Roomba S9. And... The Roborock, he just fly through this course like it's no problem. Nope. 
And there you go. A clear winner. So let's see what the Roomba S9 is doing right now. Looks like he's trying to figure out. He just has one more chair leg to go through. And keep in mind that this is um, real-time objects. I did not pre-map these objects. So the robot has to kind of learn their objects. Um, so I'm going to do a second race where they're going to go back to where they started and we'll see how well they can learn uh, these objects. So I think the Roomba S9 will have a leg up on it because the imprinting feature on here is really powerful. It, it does have the ability to memorize where the problem spots, uh, problem spots are. So finally got through those two cha uh, chair legs. So now it's gonna sit down. Okay, so finally got there. Alright, so we are now going to see which one can get back. Um, the Roomba S9 will have the advantage since it's uh, closer to the door. The reason I'm not going to move them is because if you reposition these robots, uh, especially for the Roomba S9, it has a problem relocating. Uh, hopefully iRobot will update that. So let me uh, grab my phone and... We'll get these guys started. Gonna go back into this obstacle course. Okay, so we are going to tell the rubble rock to go back to its starting position, which is about right there. Okay. So basically, we're gonna see which a uh, robotic vacuum can get back into this area. Alright. I apologize for all the moving around here. So. Nope. I messed up the target point. Let's try that again. Alright. Push. Go. Starting to get to the target point. Oh, the Roomba S9 basically told the Roomba Rock, nope, not today. So now the Roomba S9 is in the lead. And we'll see how well it can navigate these objects. Uh, now the Roborock took the lead over and the Roomba S9 is hung up on the So you can see that the Roborock is doing a pretty good job navigating these objects. The reason it's bumping into these chair legs is because the LiDAR cannot see these. Okay, and let's see how the Roomba S9 is doing if it got out of the good spot. Oh, I guess it's still hung up on these uh, legs.
and there's the rubber rock. It's almost done with the obstacle course. Just has to get through this last leg. And then this is a, uh, I think a quarter inch threshold that you can easily navigate over. So again, the rubber rock beats it by a clear margin. And let's see if the Roomba S9 can figure out its way back. So you can clearly see that the Roomba S9 needs some uh, refinement on its navigation. Okay, and the Roomba S9 finally made it back. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope you have a great rest of your weekend.